Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Anthony Wood and this is Shop Mad. My mum's asked us if I can reupholster a lid on a small footstool she's got. So I'm going to let you take a look at this now and I'm going to get this recovered. Well guys, this is the, the footstool that my mum's got lying around. Now it's a bit of a whiskey barrel going on with metal banding. This is the round disc which is going to act as like the seat top. I'm going to get this formed up now and I'll walk you through the process of how I reupholster this lid. Now she wants three inch foam on the top of the, the seat pad itself and the only three inch foam I've got lying around is just some scrap off cuts so what I'm going to have to do is I'm just going to have to glue these two pieces together to make it big enough for the seat top and I'm just going to use some spray contact adhesive just to adhere these together. I'm now going to apply some contact adhesive to the top of the seed base. And under the foam. And I'm just going to let this go off for a couple of minutes until it's just tacky. And then I can adhere the seed base to the foam itself. Now I'll just stick on the seat base. I now need to make the foam the same shape as the seat base itself and all I'm going to use is an electronic carving knife and the relatively cheap to buy and it cuts through foam like it's butter so that's what I'm going to do now I'm just going to physically run round the shape of the seat base I've now put the seat top with the foam attached on top of the whiskey barrel footstool just to make sure it's all in proportion and yeah it looks it looks okay to me. I'm going to reupholster the the seat pad itself with this gold chenille upholstery fabric. I'm just going to mark the shape out now and obviously cut all the fabric to length. Also I'm going to put a piped edge all the way around the top edge of the seat pad. Now the seat pad measures 42 inches all the way around so I need to make the piping just over 42 inches as well as the side needs to be 42 inches and the size I'm going to make that is 5 inches. I'm just going to start by marking out the piping which is 1.5 inches wide and I need to make this 44 inches long. And for the, the band that runs all the way around the side I'm going to make this 5 inches. I'm now just going to get the piping cut out and the edge band. Now for the seat top I'm just going to mark round the form I've just stuck onto the base. Now I'm just going to mark this round now. Now what you're going to have to remember is you need to leave a quarter inch seam allowance all the way around this round disc. So I'm going to get the shape cut out now. So 
So now you'll have the top made, the pipe and edge, and the band that runs all the way around. I'm just going to make a start with making the piping cord that's going to run along the top edge of the seat pad. Now I'm starting the, the piping cord one inch in from the end. I'm now going to make a start sewing on the piping edge to the edge banding. I'm just going to stop shy of the end. Now this will become apparent once I start sewing it onto the seat lid. Right then guys, I've got the seat lid ready. I've put it upside down and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start sewing on the piping and the edge banding onto the seat pad top. Now I've stopped short because one, I need to join the piping together along the top of the seat. Then I need to mark where I'm going to put a seam on the edge banding. So I'm going to make a start with just lining up and cutting where I need the piping to finish. Right. To insert the piping so it's it's hidden in a joint, fold over the inch overlap what you originally made before starting sewing in the piping. Then insert the other piping end and overlap it. So it's it's a nice neat joint. Right, so I'm just going to get this sewn in now. Right, and guys, I've got the I've got the line drawn onto both sides of the edge band, and I'm just going to line these lines up now, and I'm just going to seam these two together. and cut off any excess waste from the edge banding. Right and guys, the cover's now made for the, the seat pad itself. What I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna cover all of the foam and the sides of the seat pad uh, with six ounce wadden. Now, all this is gonna do is just gonna give it a bit more bounce, it's gonna make it a little more fuller. And it should basically look like that once you've got it all covered with the wadden. Right and guys, when you've got the cover ready to put on the seat pad itself, try and keep the seams so the seams actually are on the side of the banding and then just roll it over the edge all the way around.
What I'm going to do now is, I'm going to use my tape measure, whatever it is. What I'm going to do now is, I need to pull the piping down so it so it looks like a bit of a dome on the top of here now. I'm going to make the sides three inches all the way around from the piping to the bottom of the seat pad. I'm just going to start at the piping cord end. So again just line up, line up and measure up three inches then just put one stable in. Move round about four inches and do the same again. And just repeat this all the way around the seat pad. Once you've got all of the cover stapled on all the way around and it's nice and neat and smooth, flip it over and then just get all of the piping cord and just pull it out. So any seam that might have rolled up, you now can take this out by just rolling the piping cord out to make sure the seam is on the edge band in itself. Now what I'm going to do to tidy up all this, all these loose bits is just fold it over so it's nice and neat and just staple it in. Right then guys, I've got the seat pad all complete now and it's looking quite good so I'm just going to put it on the top. Yeah. Looks good. <laughs> right guys, I think the footstool cushion pads turned out really well. Uh, if you like the video, please give us a comment down below and let me know what you think. Also give me a big thumbs up and consider subscribing for new content being added on a weekly basis. I'm Anthony Wood, this is Shop Mad and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.